The Art Studio Pro 2.1 update further increases the depth of possibilities available when drawing, painting, editing, and retouching on mobile. The wide variety of features packed in the newest version adds an all-new interface mode, new brush gestures, additional color management options, and paint engine additions paired with more improvements. For starters, we have some interface changes. The first big change is the addition of the all-new full-screen mode, which can be toggled by tapping the arrow in the top right-hand corner. This joins the normal mode and the newly dumped painting mode, which was formerly known as full-screen mode. This means you have three different creative templates, with the newest allowing you to have one-to-one -one control with your canvas, free of any control windows, which is great for raw creativity. In painting mode, there are some sliders that you can use to control size and opacity. Directly above these sliders is an icon that can be tapped to change opacity control to color control. Color can also be displayed as swatches or slider by setting that in view, then selecting color toolbar. This tends to be a commonly used setting for colors toolbar in normal and painting mode. Here, you'll be able to naturally adjust visibility and color values directly with ease. There's also the active tool display, which shows a tool options popover in painting mode. The next thing is the new freehand and line drawing mode, which can be chosen by selecting the paint, pen, eraser, or any other drawing brush. Then going into the drawing mode section to choose this setting, just paint in a direction, then hold for over one second, and you'll see that freehand stroke convert to a line. This is really helpful for cases where you're doing a mix of straight strokes and bent strokes, preventing the need to keep going into the drawing mode menu to switch back and forth between those two drawing modes. If you touch the canvas with your other finger after turning the freehand stroke into a line, the angle can be snapped to 15, 30, or 45 degrees. A second finger touch can also be used to paint a perfect square or circle when you choose drawing mode and select either the rectangle or circle options. This is one of those features that you might not have known you needed, but will now be a super helpful trick that you'll be glad is there. When it comes to editing, the new multi-touch mode for the transform tool lets you use two fingers to move, scale, and rotate layers without having to use the handles. In the same tool, there's now an option to hide show bounding box to free up space and clearly see the content you're transforming. Next, there are new improvements to the bucket fill and pattern bucket fill tools. First, there's now an expand option, which will automatically increase the size of the selected area. More importantly, there's also the new reference layer option, which allows other layers to be used as bucket fill sources. Just go to the layer popover, select a layer that has a shape on a transparent background, tap the gear icon, and then select reference, and then the layer's label will be marked yellow. Then create a new empty layer below the reference layer, tap bucket fill tool, then set the sample to reference and just tap somewhere. You can also increase the expand value to nicely fill the shape. You can even use multiple layers and groups as a reference. Both expand and reference allow users to perfectly fill painted lines with ease. As far as layers go, there's now a new lock pixels layer option, which can be accessed via the gear icon and layers popover, preventing any pixel locked layer from being painted, erased, or modified. For users of the Apple Pencil, there are some new updates that increase customizability. One of the biggest additions here is the new pressure curve editing functionality, which can be accessed in the preferences menu under Apple Pencil slash third-party stylus. This allows users to customize the pressure of the pencil to their liking. You can also configure special actions for finger gestures used in conjunction with the Apple Pencil as well. Just go to Art Studio, Preferences, Finger Function when Pencil is Connected, and show the available options. For example, your finger could be used as an eraser, and pencil as paint. If you choose Adjust Brush Size slash Opacity, a vertical finger drag can be used to change brush opacity, and a horizontal drag can change the brush size. You can absolutely customize this to your liking, because this feature accommodates all workflows, making the creative process more efficient. Now, on to the color changes. Next up is the newly added color management option for controlling and selecting color profiles and images. You can easily assign or match a color profile by clicking Image, then picking Color Profile. Color profiles essentially define an image's color space, and they can be used to achieve uniformity among web pages, printed pages, and others. Color profiles can be embedded within files, and Art Studio Pro now reads color profiles of imported files natively within the app, making it easier to maintain said uniformity for web design, print, and more. If you're not really sure what color profiles are about, then no worries, this stuff can easily be ignored by using the sRGB color profile when creating a new image. Lastly, here are some new additions to the painting engine. First up is the new blend each stroke brush option. When selecting brushes like the Real Wet Marker, you can turn this feature on and it will seamlessly blend strokes. This works really well with brushes such as the Glowing Lines brush among others. Next is the Blend Transparency setting, which can be enabled in the Brush Editor by selecting Wetness. This makes it simpler to use wet paint on blank and transparent layers. Then there is the new Each Stroke Switch and Rotation Text field in the Brush Editor. Both options increase stroke randomness and make painting even more realistic and natural. 
There are also two new blending modes, Behind and Erase for painting and fill tools. Erase can be activated to use the current paintbrush as an eraser, and Behind can be used to paint behind current content. For ease, both of these can be configured as quick menu options. Finally, there is a new way to use the smoothing rope, which can now act as a spring, making lines even smoother. If you prefer the old method, that's totally fine too, because it's still an option. And both smoothing rope tools are now tool settings, not brush settings. So you can now switch brush types without the smoothing rope being disabled. With all of these changes, including the many small under the hood improvements made in version 2.1, this update increases the level of depth and functionality within Art Studio Pro, continuing to make it a versatile tool for personal and professional creative endeavors.